Welcome back to March 11, 2010. This is part two of uh, my goals for this year. In my previous vlog, I talked about word a day, uh, spiritual studies, a steady job, pampering and art, and my baking once a week. In this vlog, I will finish with my last five goals for this year, which are news, uh, the writing group, uh, my money that I wanted to make this year, specifically for a trip to Russia, uh, my schooling for Bear, my dog, and getting to a healthy weight. Uh, I hope you'll bear with me. I actually talked a lot. News! I'm supposed to do so many hours of uh, reading news a week because I found that my friends and my parents and my sister are way more educated on what's current events and what's not. I think I spend too much time playing Facebook games and watching movies and not paying attention to the world but sometimes the world the world's problems are so big I don't f I get crushed by it and I don't feel like I can handle it but I have to because not caring is not an option A writing group which we've already got we've got Kai and we've got Sosie and we've got the fiction three that we're supposed to be starting which the only reason that it hasn't gotten off the ground is because we all agreed that the first video that we would do would be together and then we would start doing our video projects on our own. Kai wanted to do Wednesdays, so she wants to do Thursdays. And since they're right next to each other, I decided that I would post on Sundays because it's about as far as you can get from either one of those. So she has had some problems getting together with us. Her aunt was going into the hospital for a surgery and she was really scared about it, which she should be because it was kind of dangerous. It wasn't kind of dangerous, it was really dangerous. And so she went and visited her aunt because she was afraid that her aunt wouldn't make it through. But she did. She's doing fantastic flying colors and we're so happy for her. And so see, I know that when when I was supposed to tell you how happy I was, there was a baby in my arms and I was really trying not to disturb the baby and jump down and scream, which is, comes to the second point of why we haven't gotten together because Sosie was babysitting um, her friend's little boy and I went over there and stayed the night because I love babies and I love playing with babies. So the three of us, Sosie, her Yeti, and I took care of this little baby boy who was a little fussy but you walk him around and babies love motion and they so she rocked him to sleep and he turned into little baby rock and just was gone and he slept through most of the night really really well just a little bit of fussing from what I can understand and I got to feed him in the morning which was really exciting and I had to burp him which ended up turning into hiccups because apparently he's a really bad burper but it was amazing so it was fun and I'm glad that we got to give the mother a night off and we all are really good with babies so it, I felt like I was helping. So we haven't gotten the writing group together because that's what's going on so far, but everything's in the works. I've got a bunch of footage that I need to edit and put together for the writing group. I I have a new editing software that Sosie showed me was on uh, the website for school and it's really complex. It's Adobe Premiere Elements uh, 8 and it's it's really complicated. Um, I'm sure that it'll let us do greater quality for our stuff and the editing will be easier as soon as I learn out how the hell to work it. Um, it's, it's my take a while. There, uh, there's so much to it. I, I can't even I can't even explain how much there is to this program. I, I just have to take a lot of time and sit down and work through it. Um, money. Sosi and her Yeti are going to get married, and they're going to go to Russia. I want to save about $3,000 so that I can pay for my tickets. So that's another one of my goals this year. School for my dog. Bear is so intelligent, and he picks up his tricks really, 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 really well. Um, so I have to take him to one of those courses at like PetSmart or something like that, and teach him new tricks, teach him a whole bunch of things, engage his mind and continue his learning process because he's really good at it and he picks it up really well and he needs something to stimulate him. The walks are fantastic but he needs something on a mental basis that actually 
challenges him. And every time I've challenged him, he, he goes beyond what I expect him to do. So I know that once I get him into school, he will be amazing. And so we have to do this. And of course my last goal, which is like everybody's goal, um, to get to a healthy weight. I'm obviously a big girl. And um, when I first wrote the goal, I, I tried to convince myself it was because I wanted to be healthy. But that's not really it. I think that I think that I would be prettier if I was skinnier, and I guess that really weighs on me. <laughs> Pun literal. Um, my mom's really skinny, and my sister's not, and my stepfather's not. But having my mom be that way, it's kind of makes me feel like I could do that if I really, really tried, if I worked really hard at it. But I'm... I'm not. I didn't help tonight because I made brownies. Cause sometimes a girl needs a brownie. But I have a couple of different systems in place. One of the systems I have in place is I make hell shakes in the morning. Uh, hell shakes are from an Alton Brown episode where he talks about weight loss and I've seen his weight loss and it's been fantastic and it's really an inspiration. Um, the hell shake is four ounces of soy milk, four ounces of juice, uh, four ounces of a red fruit like strawberries or raspberries or red cherries or whatever, any kind of red fruit, um, four ounces of a orange or yellow fruit, bananas, mangoes, peaches, uh, pineapple, anything like that, and then four ounces of a darker fruit, like I use blueberries every single time because I haven't found a darker fruit that I really, really like, um, but I guess you could use boysenberries or blackberries or something like that. And it really helps, and I'm actually really good at making them, so much so that even when I'm late in the morning, I can grab that shake and toss it in a travel container after blending in and head out the door, and I've got my breakfast with me, so it would make sure that I have my breakfast. Um, also, on top of that, there is a food regimen schedule. Fiber is a really big deal in weight loss. I don't know if anybody knows this, but the reason that most diets don't work, at least in my personal opinion, from trying a whole bunch of diets, is you're always hungry. But if you add lots and lots of fiber to your diet, without adding a whole bunch of calories, it really makes a difference in your hunger level. Like, lots of salads, like I eat a lot of spinach salad, which has lots of fiber, add carrots, add healthy things that really don't add or subtract. And I also measure every time I put some kind of sauce. If I put ketchup on my food, I only put about a teaspoon of ketchup. If I put salad, salad dressing on, I only put about a tablespoon. For month one and two, which was January and February, it's increased metabolism. For month three and four is build lean muscle. So that's what I'm doing next. Lots of walks, um, lots of time on the elliptical and a little bit of, of weightlifting and I have an entire process on the Wii Fit where it's all focused on building lean muscle. Uh, months 5 and 6 is decrease my body fat, lots of cardio. Uh, month 7 and 8 is increase stamina and energy. Month 9 and 10, live with a greater passion. Go out and do a marathon, something like that, something fantastic. And then Month 11 and 12 has actually reached my ideal weight. So I have an entire year of smaller goals that will build up to the final goal of achieving my my ideal weight. So I have a bunch of processes, and that's exciting to have that those goals laid out. and They're reasonable goals, so I don't feel overwhelmed because I have baby steps. That's it for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.